The city of Vernon installed orange kindness meters in the downtown last week. Officials are hoping that shoppers will plug the meter rather than hand over money to panhandlers. We went out to see if people know what the meters are for. Kindness meters. Kindness meters. Kindness meters. That's... I've never seen one. No. <laughs> I didn't. Turn around. <laughs> you see oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what they're for? I have not a clue. Yeah, I saw them putting them in the other day. No. If you look over there, uh -huh. you'll see one. Okay. Do you know what it's for? Look, what I imagine is you got a thing to put money in, so it's for collecting money, I suppose. Would, would it stop you from giving money to a pan handler? Would you rather put the money in the meat? I'd rather, put the, I'd rather put the money in the meter because I don't frankly support panhandlers. For money to be put in there to help the needy. But most of these people out here that are doing the panhandling aren't homeless. They're lazy bums, half of them. No, I don't know what a kindness meter okay, is. so turn to your left there. That's a kindness meter. There's Would you put money in the meter rather than give money to a panhandler? Um, no, you wouldn't. Well, I'll want to help those. Yeah, I probably would. A kindness meter? I would assume that would be something to measure just how kind people are to one another. That is a kindness meter over there. Does that mean I'm supposed to go hug it? <laughs> Us poor guys on the side of the road don't have any other option. You know, we go to the mission only certain hours. And it's for food. You know, you can't buy batteries with it. You can't buy cigarettes with it. You can't, you know. So do you panhandle sometimes? Yes, I do. I think it's fantastic. Most of these homeless never had a chance, so it's great that you give them some way to give money back. And so a mixed reaction to those kindness meters. And it's also obvious the city will have to do some education so that people know what they're for. Kate Bowie for Castanet News in Vernon.